Hi everyone! In this video, we'll be discussing the three important things that we need to focus on in making our budget. So to those who don't know me yet, my name is J.M. Ang and my mission is to empower people to live holistic and abundant lives. And if you're still here in this video, I want you to give yourself a warm round of applause which just shows that you're valuing your budget a lot. Okay, so as I mentioned a while ago, these are the three main things you need to consider in your budget. And just to share with you, this whole series is going to be called Budget Ganon! Okay, so medyo exciting po yung title po natin. So, ang mangyayari ngayon, we'll be sharing first, ano ba yung important thing? So, I'll start with this quote. So, common misconception, budgeting takes out the fun out of life. But in fact, budgeting is putting structures to your life so that the fun will naturally come in. In short, hindi mo wala yung pera natin kasi, believe it or not, we need money. Diba? Okay, so, true, real talk lang naman yun eh. So, I, I honestly believe na if you really like traveling, kailangan mo ba ng pera para mag-travel? Yes, obviously. Kung ikaw ay mahilig mag-sports, mahilig mag-hiking or whatever, kailangan mo ba ng money? Yes, exactly. So, kung ganun po yung case, ganun din yung case ko. I also, I love bowling and magastos po mag-bowling. So, if I was not able to do my budgeting, hindi ko magagawa yung favorite sport ko ng buhay ko. Okay? Are you guys excited to learn? So ngayon, we're going to discuss the three things that's very important to put in your budget. So we're gonna divide it into three. Tama? Okay, so kung ganon yung case, yung una muna ang gagawin yung division is by percentages. 70%. So kung 70%, that's going for your necessities. Ano po yung necessities? Bayad mo sa bahay, bayad niyo po sa renta, bayad niyo sa pagkain, bayad niyo po sa transport. Necessities po, hindi po yung mga luho. Clear po ba yun? Okay. Next, the second one that we're going to talk about is 10%. 10% of your budget is going to be allotted for your gift fund. Because it's important to give. Meaning po natin, the more you give, the more you receive. Yun po yung katotohanan ng mundo and yun po yung naturo din sa Bible. And honestly, I've been practicing this for the past few years. Sa simula, if you're a young one, sa simula siya weird. Naalala ko when I was way back 2011, pa nag-start ako with this fun, masakit. Kasi kung 12,000 lang, so 1-2. Kung 12,000, kinikita ko 1-2 siya. Not bad. So that's going to be 10% going to your give fund. Because the more you give, the more you receive. The last one, number three, is going to be your savings and investment. So for savings and investment, ang important dyan is this is going to be set aside for your future because you're not supposed to touch it as much as possible. Savings and investment, just in case may nangyari, meron ka pag-uutan. Investment, if gusto natin mas palakihin yung pera natin, kasi remember, pagka nasa bank of below 1% yung interest niya. Pero pagka investment, it may be sa stocks, it may be sa mutual funds, it may be your VUL, it may be your business, it may be your your real estate. It depends. Ang ikaw bahala. It's just very clear dapat na itatabi mo yung 20% na ito for savings and investment. Because it's going to be your payment for yourself. Or pay yourself first para sa future self mo sasabihin sa'yo, Uy! Thank you ah! You saved us for the future. So, paano ba natin siya i-apply? Imagine mo na meron kang 20,000 pesos. Ilang, ilan to? 20,000 pesos ko. So, kung 70% po yung necessities natin, 20,000 times 70% is how much? 14,000 po. Ang galing po natin. Ang galing po ng calculator niyo po. If not po, magaling po kayo sa math. And I see you, guy who computes with your brain. And yung second naman pag apply natin yung give fund, it's going to be 10%, 10% of 20,000 is 2,000 po. So madali lang po yan, bawas lang po kayo ng tatlong zero. Ay, nandiyan. Hindi pala tatlong zero. Bawas lang kayo ng ilang zero. <laughs> okay. So pagka ganun po, yung last naman is 20%. Uh, we're going to apply to 20,000. That's going to be 4,000. So imagine that if you have 20,000 pesos, set aside 4,000 for your savings and investment is going to be a lot for you already. And yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. Excited for you to try this out. Thank you so much for staying and learning all of these three things. So okay lang ba i-recap natin to? So the first one is, ano muna? Yes, 70%. 70% pupunta po sa ating mga necessities. Yung mga bahay, bayad sa pagkain, transpo, etc. 
number two is going to be what? Ilang percent? 10%. That's your give fund. Or yan yung ibibigay natin. Tights, charity, whatever it may be. Because the more you give, the more you receive. And last one, ang very important is, yes, 20% para sa savings and investment. So I want you to to read back. I want you to comment down below. Thank you so much. Kung meron kayo napulot, ano yung biggest takeaway nyo? Just comment down below. Like and subscribe in my future videos because we're gonna come back with more episodes with Budget Ganon! Once again, this is JM Ang. And thank you so much for listening to this video, for watching it. I, I hope you're all doing safe. You're being safe at the same time having lots of fun, learning, growing, and making sure that you are growing and experiencing this uh, special lockdown. See you around, see you around, and excited for our next videos.